This is Ed Bag with USA Today. I'm here with Jeff Gordon from HTC. You've got a couple of phones here. Looks a lot like the HTC One you guys brought out in the spring, yet I have a feeling there's something different. That's exactly right, Ed. Uh, in my left hand, I have the HTC One M8 that we launched in March. It runs Android, and it's been doing great with our customers who love Android. In my right hand, though, we have something brand new. I'm going to put down the Android version. This looks exactly like the Android version, but it's actually running Windows Phone. In every way externally, it's uh, the exact same as the Android version, so it's got a, a beautiful all-aluminum unibody uh, finish here. Beautiful five inch screen, the exact same internal specifications, so super fast, tons of memory, really, really great top of the line flagship device. And it's running Windows Phone if you're more interested in having the full Windows uh, suite of applications and compatibility with, uh, with uh, Windows on the PC. Now, you said the hardware is virtually identical. What about the software? Obviously, it's different because it's Windows versus Android, but are there apps that you're either getting or losing as a result? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, of course, you have all of the standard Windows Phone apps. In fact, this is running the latest version of Windows Phone called Windows Phone 8.1.1. So they recently introduced something called Cortana, which is much like uh, Siri on the Apple iPhone lets you control your phone with your voice. Uh, so Cortana is fantastic. But also HTC worked very closely with Microsoft to uh, bring in some new apps. So for example, when I flip around to the back, you'll notice that we have a very unique camera on this device. We brought this camera from the Android version and had to work with Microsoft to bring compatibility for the two cameras. Uh, this allows uh, depth perception in, uh, in, the, in the camera. You can actually change the focus of photos after you've taken the image. Something you could do with the Android version. Yeah, that's exactly right. And so we had to bring that capability to Windows Phone, and it's something we're very proud of. Now, I understand this also has an infrared uh, a component here which would let you use this as a remote control, something you couldn't do before. That's exactly right. Uh, here on the top of the device is the infrared port, uh, so you can use this with your TV or, or other home uh, theater uh, devices. We wanted to make sure we brought that capability over from Android because our customers who use that really, really love it. And so as I go into our application called HTC Sense TV on the device, it pulls up the thumbnails of what's on TV right now, find the picture of what you want to watch, and just tap that image, point it at your TV, and it'll actually change the channel for you. So get rid of all your remotes and just use your HTC One M8. Now, now the Windows uh, interface is built around these live tiles. You guys have this Blink Feed interface. That's here, too, as well. Obviously, it's not there as your main home screen when you start. That's right. The main home screen is, of course, the Windows Phone home screen that uh, is very nice and has the live tiles with a ton of information. But when you tap into the Blink Feed app, which has become a hallmark of the HTC experience, you'll see a, a full stream of snackable content. And when by snackable content, I mean when you're waiting in line at the grocery store or the bank or whatever it might be, pull up this app and you can see all the latest headlines for the publications you like to follow, your social feeds, uh, your latest photos, a uh, whole bunch of different types of information that you can customize and personalize and make this your go-to place anytime and every time that you just want to snack on some information on the go. Now there are a couple things here that, that are missing, at least from the Android device, notably Zoe, the camera feature or photo feature known as Zoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zoe is uh, it's, a, it's a brand new app. Uh, we actually launched a stub of it on the HTC One MA on Android, but are releasing it uh, very soon uh, on Android. It's not on Windows Phone because we're focused on Android for that at this time. However, in terms of our, our big flagship features for this device, we did bring them all over. We want to make sure that Windows Phone customers feel they are certainly first-class citizens with us, best Android hardware with a fantastic software experience. And Verizon for now the exclusive carrier. That's correct. Verizon is the exclusive carrier at launch and uh, it will be available uh, with pricing and all the details very soon. Great. Jeff Gordon from HTC. I'm Ed Baig from USA Today.